Hey, what is up guys? Trex here. Welcome back to another episode of Rocket League Quick Play. This episode we're just going to be going for a duel or doubles or standard. We'll see what we get. Um, should probably actually join the game. I'm not logged in. Uh, okay. Um, what? Why am I not logged into the Rocket League servers or the servers down? All right, well, we're going ex exposition, um, ex exhibition, I mean, we're gonna go unfair, and Utopia Coliseum at night, is that an option? Utopia Coliseum, dusk, there we go. All right, unfair difficulty, let's see how we fare against these bots. Um, okay, here we go, here we go. Come on, come at me, bots. Oh, that's off. All right, we are our hope, our strategy for this match, if we want to beat the unfair difficulty, is to stay in the goal, block their shots. Like I almost did block that one, and then if I dang it, can which I can't get a breakaway. Oh, dang it. Um, yeah. So that strategy's stupid. We're just gonna. We're just gonna play normally and brute force it, see how that goes. Merlin, you're way off. You're just way off and terrible. I'm not good at unfair matches. It takes me a ton of tries to actually beat them. Come on, come on, come on. I've only beaten them a couple times before. It was tough. Come on. Alright, we're just gonna push that out over there. And I'll. Oh. It's hard because you don't have a teammate, and if they get any break at all behind you, they are pretty much going to score. Aw, oh, pool shot him. I didn't score. Why am I not going, Trex? Oh, jeez. Okay. There we go. You're in the goal now. Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it. Come on, come on. Oh, okay. I tried, uh, I tried recording this episode just a minute ago, except on a ranked match, and I got played up against a veteran, and that didn't go too well, because he was actually good, he wasn't like the veteran in the last episode that kind of just laid over and died like a, like a childhood dog, um, that, I don't know why I said that, aw, oh, dang it, ugh. I hate ball cam so stinking much. <sighs> and that's why you don't know what's going on. And it, they scored again. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Oh, dang it. Oh, he shot on goal. And he didn't score again. He didn't score. He's too bad. And he knows he's bad. Dang it. Dang it. We messed up. We could We could still score. We can. Oh, no, we can't. Watch this. Watch this. Um, dang it. I think we're just gonna grind out shots on him. So we can do that. Ah, oh, dang it. Get out of the way, you peasant. So, I saw The Martian yesterday. Has anybody else seen The Martian? It's a pretty solid movie, if you haven't seen it. I saw a 9 out of 10. Really funny. It's It captures the humor of the book perfectly. Um, and the science of the book perfectly. The one thing that it doesn't capture, though, is just how long he was on Mars. But it still does a pretty good job of that, although it isn't perfect. Um, saw 9 out of 10, third movie in the Saving Matt Damon trilogy. The first two, of course, being Interstellar and, Save, and uh, Saving Private Ryan. And, yeah, good, good job, really, Scott. Thanks for adapting one of my favorite books into one of my favorite movies of the year. But that's all I have to say about that. Uh, in the meantime, we did score, which I probably should have talked about, but we were talking about the Martian. And so we didn't talk about it. Oh, dang it. <coughs> come on, come on, Trex, you're better than this. You're better than this. It's what everybody told you after they beat you up, is you're better than this. Don't let us beat you up playing magic. I'm just kidding, I never got beaten up. Nor did I ever play magic. Because I had friends. Dang it, that should have been a shot. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
but I know I'm better than this. I know it. Oh yes! Dang it! That was a cool save, and then he scored. Then it wasn't so cool. But at least we scored. We're doing better than Foamer, who just sounds like a nickname of a guy of a local at a pub. Oh yeah, Foamer's here! Break out the Bloody Marys! Yeah, man! Yeah! But then they decide to put Foamer in charge of all the drinks. And then we invade Iraq and false pretenses. Yep. As it turns out, dang it, they only drank chocolate milk. But they only drank it, dang it, with each other. That's a uh, Mike Birbiglia for you. He's a great stand-up comedian. Probably my favorite. But uh, if you don't listen to him, check him out if you're old enough. But yeah. Saved it! Maybe. Saved it, maybe, baby. That rhymed. Um. Oh, man, I just did a side roll. Save it. Okay, we're good. Nope, dang it. Fulmer actually scored, and what he's beating us. Alright, we got this. We got we got to do better than Fulmer, because Fulmer invaded Iraq on false pretenses. And, yeah. Up, up, up. Clear the ball. That should give me some points. Foamer, what are you doing, Foamer? Come on, come on. And shoot that across there. Shoot the gaps. That's a wrestling term. 265, we need to beat 280. There we go, clear the ball. Yes! Dang it! Dang it! We lost to Foamer by five points. But anyways, guys, that's it for that episode six of Rocket League Quick Play. Thanks for watching. Uh, apparently, there's going to be a new trailer October 28th or something. So, sweet. But anyways, guys, I will see you all next time. And goodbye.